Welcome to the Florida Department of Economic Opportunities training titled Creating a Resume and Employ Florida. During this lesson, we will define what a resume is and discuss the benefits of having a resume and employ Florida. We will also guide you through the process of developing a resume in the Employ Florida system. So, what is a resume? A resume is a brief summary of a person's education, work history, and qualifications sent to employers or posted online so employers can determine if the person is a good fit for the job. Putting a public resume in the Employee Florida system means employers can search for job seeker qualifications. This step increases the job seeker's outreach span. Once job seekers have created a profile and resume in the Employee Florida system, they can send information to employers and apply for jobs directly through Employee Florida. It is like a two-way street. Employers can look for job seekers, and job seekers can look for employers. For example, Sally is a cosmetologist who cuts and styles hair. A local salon owner is looking for someone who is familiar with hair color products and techniques. Sally has created a profile in the Employ Florida. In addition to putting information in the system to create a profile, she also created a resume. Sally's resume indicates that she is both educated and trained in coloring hair. The employer contacts Sally to see if she is interested in a recent job opening in their shop. Creating a detailed background and resume through Resume Builder will increase the job seeker's presence online for employers. To create and post a resume in Employ Florida, the job seeker must have a profile in Employ Florida. Click on the Sign In button. Enter Test01 in the Username field. Enter Test01 in the Password field. To prove we are not a robot, enter capital LS7K4 in the CAPTCHA text box. Click the Sign In button to move forward. My Dashboard is displayed. After scrolling down, the Job Seeker Services menu displays. Select Resume Builder to enter more background information and develop an online resume that can be sent to employers. On the Services menu, Resumes is selected and the option screen is showing. Select the plus sign to start a new resume. The system now starts the Job Seeker on the resume development process. The job seeker must enter a name for the resume. It is recommended that the name of the resume reflect the job opening that it is designed to respond to. In the resume title, enter Registered Nurse. Then select the Enter button on your keyboard. On this screen, we have scrolled down to determine the availability of the resume and the creation method. We have selected to allow employers to view our resume online. We have also chosen to create a comprehensive resume by filling out the Resume Builder's Wizard. Select the Save button to move forward and start the resume development process. Select the name of the resume to make changes to the title. Because the resume is missing details and background information, it is not posted online. However, when it is complete, it will allow the job seeker to post it on the internet. Select the printer icon to print the document as a PDF. Select the envelope icon to email the document. Select the down arrow to download the resume. The gear allows the user to move sections from the template and create a custom template. Select the name of the template to change the type of resume that will be created. The Employee Florida System's resume sections are listed on this screen. The job seeker can add or update information in each section by clicking on the Click here statement below the section's title. Go ahead, click. Click here to add your objective. A data entry pop-up displays. If the job seeker is not sure what to write, they can select Answer Occupation Specific Sample Text. Click the hyperlink now. The objective given is looking for a job with a fast-paced company with many chances to advance. The job seeker can use this objective as presented or even part of the objective. If the job seeker does not like the example objective given, the job seeker can erase the objective and not use the text at all. 
we are going to keep this objective and select the Save button. As you can see, the objective has been updated with the objective statement saved on the previous screen. Next is the Ability Summary. What is an Ability Summary? An Ability Summary is a concise statement on a resume that highlights the job seeker's important work achievements, skills, and experiences. It is meant to be short and often replaces the objective. We are not going to write an Ability Summaries. Select Cancel to go back to the main screen. The job seeker should go through each section. If no information is typed in or filled out, the section should be removed from the resume. After all the resume sections are completed, the Employee Florida System provides the job seeker the option of providing information to employers. Employer searchable items allow employers to search for resumes in the system where the job seeker has indicated they are a good match for what the employer is looking for. To start entering searchable items, the job seeker must select a section to update. In this example, the job seeker stated they wanted to enter information about their desired job. This step will include the shift they want to work, the dates they want to work, and if they are available for weekend work, etc. By selecting this section, the system asks the job seeker to create a job profile. A job profile is designed to inform employers of the type of job the job seeker is looking for. First, the job seeker named the job profile. The job profile is titled Teacher Profile. They enter the desired profile details such as the employment type. The job seeker also indicated they want a full-time job. Finally, the job seeker enter the dates and shifts they are willing to work. On this page, the job seekers provide information on how much they are willing to travel and if they will relocate or telecommute for the job. Finally, the job seeker is able to save the job profile or cancel the process. The job seeker must save the information on the desired job type. In this example, this is a default job profile. It will be displayed on the resume. Also, new job profiles can be created for other types of jobs the staff member is interested in. The employer searchable items are updated. Which of the following items should staff use to match resumes to a job order that is posted in the Employee Florida system? Items staff use to match resumes to a job order is posted in Manage Resumes. A local construction company is in search of a new employee. They want to place a job order in Employee Florida but do not have time to post the job order. Who would be the most appropriate party to assist the company with posting the job order? The most appropriate party to assist this local company with posting job orders in Employee Florida is the LWDB. Valerie has been looking for a job in Employee Florida and has come across a job order that interests her. She is confused. She does not understand why this job order does not have as much information visible to her as others do. She attempts to apply for the job but is notified that a pre-screening by staff is required prior to the referral. This is an unsuppressed job order. The answer is false. This type of job order is called a suppressed job order. The job seeker cannot see all the information about the job, specifically how to apply for the job. Madison has been looking for jobs in Employee Florida. She wants to get a job as a server in a local restaurant where she heard they are hiring. However, when she searches for related jobs in Employee Florida, she does not get any information. The Career Center staff person meets Madison and states there are, in fact, job openings for this restaurant, but they are not visible to job seekers. Madison located a suppressed job order. The answer is false. This type of job order is called a staff view only job order. The job seeker cannot see any of the information about the job. A local employer has an open job position and would like to create a job order with the local career center. Due to the specific qualifications of the position, the employer does not want the job order to be visible by the public. What type of job order would this be? A local employer has an open job position and would like to create a job order with the local career center. Due to the specific qualifications of the position, 
the employer does not want the job order to be visible to the public. This is a staff view only job order. To conduct a job search in Employee Florida from the login screen, the job seeker should blank. Select the best answer. There are several ways to job search from the login screen. The most direct way is to enter keywords in the keyword search field and press search. Structured records of an employer's job requirements for filling vacant positions with qualified workers are called blank. Select the best answer. Structured records of an employer's job requirements for filling vacant positions with qualified workers are called job orders. A job referral can be made if the job seeker's skills, education, and work experience match the requirements of the blank. Select the best answer. A job referral can be made to send the customer to the employer to fill a job opening if the job seeker's skills, education, and work experience match the requirements of the employer. A blank is an opportunity to connect the job seeker to an employer based on the qualifications established by the employer. Select the best answer. A job referral is an opportunity for staff to connect a job seeker to an employer based on the qualifications established by the employer. The Employee Florida system requires the job seeker to register and create a profile in order to build a resume as well as send a resume to an employer. Creating and sending a resume to an employer requires the sender, the job seeker, to register in Employee Florida. The job seeker must have a profile. During this lesson, we reviewed the process for developing and saving a resume and a job profile in Employee Florida. To complete the lesson, select the Finish button.